It's a beautiful place. We are supposed to be the, the keepers of God's creation. They love it here and they feel good. They have a joy in giving back. I had a friend uh, who knew uh, me very well, uh, and uh, she knew that I spent a lot of time gardening, and that I just love trees and flowers, and uh, so she invited me uh, to come to Jenkins. I had never been here before. We're here as 48 acres of open space, conservation woodland, um, a world-class botanical garden. Just think what resource that provides for the community forever. The nice thing about our gardens here is it's free. There's no cost. You come and bring your whole family. Charitable giving and philanthropy, uh, annuities, are really the only way we can survive. We can't fundraise through retail sales. It's not who we are. We really, and we don't get a gate fee, we don't charge a ticket admission. If it wasn't for charitable giving, we, we wouldn't be able to grow, prosper, and build a supported endowment. And I knew being an attorney, we had a big nonprofit client. I knew about deferred giving. Jenkins had no deferred giving plan. Uh, so I said, we need some deferred giving. The easiest thing is an annuity. The people that we have as annuitants so, so far are long-term loyal supporters of Jenkins Arboretum and they, they love us. Well, an annuity pays me a good income. I think I'm getting 7% on the annuity. It was a win-win. I mean, I got, a, I got all sorts of tax benefits from the annuity. Uh, Jenkins, at my death, will get a substantial sum. Uh, I liked it. I know that through my annuity, I will be here much longer through my gifts than I ever could in my own life. A board member recommended take a look at Everance. I took a look at Everance, I looked at their financials, and I looked at, read their literature, and I said, looks all right to me, let's uh, look at the annuities. And then uh, uh, I met Mr. Delp. There's typically a lot of joy in the process, uh, joy on the part of the donor who is being able to make the gift that they've wanted to make, joy on the part of Jenkins to be able to receive the gift and knowing that they have another partner who's going to help sustain them into the future, and joy really for uh, the persons who will benefit uh, far into the future by having a, a healthy, flourishing Jenkins Arboretum. People who give are really thinking about the future and giving back to the generations that follow so that there will always be a place where children can come and learn about nature. It seems to me is that you have to look at where your love is in life. And this is a love for me, and so I want very much to have to support it and keep it going. They're doing things that I can't do and don't do, and I want done, so I give to them. We started with no money, we grew a garden, and now we need to support it. I give a gift and receive a joy. That's how I feel about it.